are different ways that men talk down to women in today's Manly Minute. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a learning situation for many of us. I looked at the list, I was like, oh my goodness, I do that all the time. Didn't yeah. even know I was doing it. Had no idea. So these are the four ways that we men, we think that we're being sometimes endearing or even helpful, but we're not. We're undermining women in all kinds of ways. Many of them are, mano uh, are, em are emotional, excuse me, and manipulative, manipulation in what we're doing. All right, so here we go. Four ways that men talk down to women. First one, it's called negging. I don't know if you ever heard of this, but it's like this. Say she's wearing something, like let's say she got an item from a vintage store. You're like, hey, where do you get that grandma dress from? She's like, oh, I found it at a vintage store. Okay, you've automatically insulted that dress. Yeah. It was something she found in a vintage store, so it's obviously older. It looks, you know, vintage, and she likes it. And you don't know really what you're talking about. You're trying to be endearing, but it's, a, it's an obvious backhanded compliment to make that person feel like they don't have good taste, and that makes them kind of desire your approval. So now you're putting them in a situation where they want to know what you feel or what you think about their clothes every single day. That's really not important. This is called negging when you're making that backhanded compliment about what they're wearing. Number two. So it's gaslighting, all right? Gaslighting is when you are making this person feel like they are crazy for something that they're actually living through. Perfect example, if someone says, hey, you know what, I think... I think my coworker or my boss may be harassing me. And you're like, no, 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 they're just super nice and outgoing. You don't know what you're talking about. You just did it right there. Mm. You tried to diffuse the situation, which you thought you were doing. But what you just did, you just gaslighted her into thinking that what she's thinking and seeing and feeling is not real, that she's crazy. Number three, mansplaining. Well, of course, we all do this from time to time. You see, Courtney, what yeah. you don't understand is LeBron uh, coming to the Lakers. You yeah. see, it's just, it doesn't make any sense, right. you see. It's just not good for the game. Let me explain this to Bless you. you see, they've already heart. got a bunch of people over there that have won rings. <laughs> he doesn't need to go. This is mansplaining, and people don't know that Courtney knows a lot about basketball already. That's the one sport she does. That's the one sport. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, it. man, we feel like we have to insert our opinion into the situation not knowing that person probably knows everything they need to know already. Don't need you to explain Bless your heart. And the last one is actually ing. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Why are you moaning over there? Why are you moaning? What's wrong with you? Oh, man. Oh, I had a young lady tell me one time, I love that Tarantino movie, True Romance. And then we're like, actually? He didn't make that. He wrote the screenplay, but he didn't direct that movie. To which she smacks you in the face like, that's not even important. <sighs> we do this all the time. We Semantic. actually? We don't need to do that. Just take the fact that this person, if a person says, hey, I love Tarantino movies. Oh, good, I'm a fan of his as well. Keep it moving. Just try to find a way to connect. You don't need to explain everything to these people. These are the ways that we talk down to them. We don't even know we're doing it sometimes. These are four things to look at. To find out more, go to gooddaysacramento.com. Click on show info for today's date. And man up for eliminating all of these little undermining little things that we do. Good day continues after this. <laughs>